What's up guys? Laugh Burst here and today I'm going to be doing my top five favorite balance type Beyblades. Now I've been thinking of doing top five list or top ten list for a while because uh, I feel like you guys are more subscribed for my personality rather than my battles which I guess is uh, just a little sad but whatever. Anyway so yeah I'm doing my top five favorite balance type Beyblades because balance types if you guys don't know are my favorite Beyblade type not because they're really good or they're awesome or anything, which they are awesome though. Uh, it's because I think they look the coolest and I think they spin the coolest. So yeah, it's more about like a fun aspect. Anyway, so yeah, let's get into the top five list. But before I start, I'm gonna make some rules for myself. I can't have more than uh, one Beyblade from the same line, which means I can't have Spriggan Requiem and Legend Spriggan on the same list because if I had those two on the list, well then my whole list would just be four Spriggans, you know, I just have four Spriggans. So I'm gonna limit, to, limit it to one line. So yeah, let's get started. At number five, my fifth favorite balance type Beyblade is <laughs> Duo Eclipse. Come on, focus on this camera. Focus! I'm very good at this YouTube thing, I swear. Okay. There we go, okay. So my number five is Dewey Eclipse Technical Difficulties, and Dewey Eclipse is just so awesome. I love Dewey Eclipse, I love its god ability. So I don't have the other parts right here, I only have Dewey Eclipse with me right now, but its god ability is basically, you can just take the god chip off, like this. You take the god chip off, and then you can just separate it. And it's two different layers. Like you have like three different layers with this one Beyblade. It's crazy, I love its design. Its design reminds me of like the freaking sudden moon from Pokemon, that's awesome. And in battle, it has like crazy smash attacks. Like look at this thing, this is awesome. And I also love, look at the seven black disc. I'm never taking the seven out of this meteor frame because I'm scared it's gonna like uh, mess up the paint or whatever. So this sevens permanently, it's like glued to the seven. Not really, because that wouldn't be legal for tournaments. And I'm going to tournaments, so I got, I gotta use some legal combos, but yeah, um, I'm never taking it off because the seven just looks so cool. Look how cool that black seven is. And finally, probably the best part, in my opinion, from this Beyblade is the Unite Trevor. Look at that Unite Trevor. It's like clear with the uh, black rubber. It just looks so awesome. If you guys don't know, again, Unite is my favorite tip. It's just such a fun tip to use. I think that's why, that that's the main reason why Dual Eclipse is on this li list, just because it's so fun to use with the Unite Trevor. Unite pretty much saved this uh, Beyblade. If it wasn't for Unite, I think... Um, number five would have been Ultra Chronos, which would, would have been kind of interesting, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, that is my number five slot. Let's put it right here and let's give it uh, the gotcha. Yes. Anyway, so moving on, uh, my number four, my fourth favorite Beyblade is probably... Here we go. Not my fourth favorite Beyblade, but my fourth favorite balance type is... Inferno Ifrit. Now this guy, he's my fourth favorite balance type because just look at him. Isn't he like, this thing looks so cool. It's, most of my Beyblades for me, they're not based on like how good they are. It's more based on how cool they look. And look how cool this thing is. I've actually never spun this thing before. <laughs> I've never used it that. I don't even know how good it is because I heard it breaks. Like this part right here will break off because of how fragile it looks or it is. So um, I'm just never going to battle. It's going to be a Beyblade. I just look out forever, but that's fine because look how cool it is it has like that awesome orange that like fiery orange then it has gold and the crimson red guys if you know i'm a sucker for crimson red although it has liner liner is probably like my least favorite uh driver just because it comes on Fang Fenrir, which is like a mega oof. But yeah, um, overall, this Beyblade, just its design. Its design saves it. It's not that it's good competitive, or it's not that even it's good at all, because like, I've never spun it. It just looks awesome. So yeah, that's my number four. It's just a crazy looking thing. Anyway, so yeah, moving on to my number three uh, favorite balance type. My third favorite balance type is probably, da 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 here we go. It's um Nova Neptune. Now, Nova Neptune is my favorite or my third favorite balance type because just look at this thing. It's, again, it's such a sleek design. It's such an awesome design. Look how be beautiful, look how pretty this is. I think this is the prettiest Beyblade. If not the prettiest, it's the second prettiest. Maybe Nightmare Longinus is the prettiest, but in my opinion, uh, mm, Nightmare Longinus, or not Nightmare, uh, Bloody Longinus. Bloody Longinus is, I think this is such a pretty looking design. Look at those waves, that's so nice. The only bad thing about this Beyblade is again, it's not that competitive. Its teeth aren't that good. Compared to the single layer Neptune, 
it's not that good, but it comes with the trans driver and I really like the trans driver just because I like mode changing and just like switching up the battle and like messing with people when I battle, which is really fun. So yeah, and oh man, the character for this guy, I forget his name, but um, he showed up in season one and he was like, he had such a cool design too. He had like a crazy cool design and he was like the scientist guy and he like tried to predict Volt's move, but of course Volt had main character powers. So like that didn't work. Anyway, so yeah, he's my third favorite Beyblade. Moving on to my second favorite Beyblade, my runner-up. Maybe if I make more uh, top five lists like this, I'll get better at the quality. Right now, I'm, I'm using my fingers, but maybe in the future, I'll have like transitions like boom, pop. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so moving on to my second favorite uh, Balance Side Beyblade. My second favorite Balance Side Beyblade. Now this is kind of a hard choice because Neptune has been my second favorite Balance Side Beyblade for the longest time, but recently a Beyblade just barely took its spot. Just barely took its spot. And I bet you guys know what Beyblade this is. It is... H-E Double Hockey's Accelerator. Now who doesn't like H-E Double Hockey's Accelerator? Someone, come up to me and tell me uh, that you don't like H-E Double Hockey's Accelerator because everyone loves it. If you if you tell me you don't, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself because look how cool it is. Okay, so it has a really cool design. It's really good on certain drivers, not the Operate driver that it comes with, but it's really good on certain drivers. Like I tested it out with like, um, Atomic or bearing and it's like killer. It's like it's like drain fastener kind of levels It's like drain fastener, but metal. It's crazy. It's crazy good and it has some attack power anyway So yeah, just look at this sign. It looks awesome It has an awesome ability where you can just change it doesn't do much, but it looks cool It has like it's like two different Beyblades. Like, this is one Beyblade. This is another Beyblade I mean it doesn't change that much, but it gives it like a lot. I don't know I don't know it just feels different like when you look at this you get kind of a wyvern vibe when you look at this It's like a lot cleaner. It's like its own Beyblade anyway so yeah, and it's just it's a good layer. It looks awesome It comes with the 12 disc and it is extremely fun to use with the operate driver The operate driver is so fun to use when I first unboxed this I said this Beyblade was bad and but I, I was lying to myself I just didn't want to accept it. I didn't think it I didn't want it to per surpass Spriggan which it didn't surpass Spriggan But uh, yeah, at least not yet at least I hope not I hope it's not but yeah the operate driver It's crazy. This thing is so fun to use just seeing it jump around in battle it's such a good Beyblade. I definitely recommend it. Definitely my favorite Chozetsu Beyblade. Anyway, so yeah, moving on to number one slot. And I, I, you got, you guys, you guys know what my number one slot is. I don't even think I have to say it. Senor Spriggan, let's be honest, whose favorite balance type is not Senor Spriggan? Senor Spriggan is everyone's favorite balance type because it's just so cool to care and help me bless us. Oh my gosh, and guys, let me rant on about Spriggan. I can rant on about Spriggan for hours. Oh, I also got my other Spriggans because I couldn't include these on my list. Okay, if this could be my list. Okay, so number one, Senor Spriggan. Number two, probably Storm Spriggan. Number three, uh, Legend Spriggan. The number four, uh, Single Air Spriggan, which I actually don't have. Guys, can you buy me a uh, Single Air Spriggan? Please, I'm joking. I, I I haven't bought it yet, but I'll buy it in the future. So, um, yeah, these guys, when I first got this guy, here's a backstory. I spent $30 on a wyvern, just single layer wyvern. I bought it off Amazon, got it like, got it like two days, I got Prime or whatever, I got it and I was like, wyvern, this is such a cool Beyblade. And I go on Amazon the next day, and then guess what? Dual layers release literally the same day that I got my wyvern. I was so mad because I saw this thing, and this thing looks so nice. I was like, wait, I just spent $30 on this stupid purple wyvern thing when I could have spent $30 on this majestic, awesome Beyblade. So then I saved up $30 more dollars and I finally got it. And I literally used it every day, every night. It was my favorite Beyblade. It was crazy. It was, it was crazy. I wore out the rubber like so much. And that's why Spriggan's my favorite Beyblade because it's designed. And she was such an awesome character in the anime. And I remember uh, Spriggan, again, uh, Storm Spriggan, not the best Beyblade, but in God, they blessed it with Legends Spriggan, and Legends Spriggan was like, it wasn't like extremely good, but it was a competitive Spriggan, which like no one's heard of that before. Spriggan has never been competitive its entire life until Legends Spriggan came out. And look at this sleek design. This design looks so awesome. I mean, it's so different from this design. I also like this design better because it's more clean, but this design's just like kind of like an edgy cool factor. And uh, yeah, moving on, then we finally got 
Takara told me was like, okay, let's just throw everything at Spriggan at this point. We got uh, freaking Senor Spriggan, which Senor Spriggan is like every single, not every single god ability, but like five god abilities built into one thing. It's right spin, it's left spin, it has smash attack, it has upper attack, it has rubber, it has metal, it has the heaviest disc, it has, uh, <laughs> it has a mode changing driver, literally everything that they could fit. Oh, and it has good teeth, round design, everything that they could fit in the Beyblade, they put it into Senor's freaking, which is crazy going from a Beyblade that wasn't competitive at all to the most competitive Beyblade. And that is why this kid is my favorite Beyblade because it's extremely competitive, it's nostalgic, it's <laughs> it's basically everything. Like, it's aesthetically pleasing, it's nostalgic, it's competitive, what else do you want? Anyway, so yeah, that is my top five favorite balance types overview. Number one, of course, Senor's freaking. Number two, H -E Double Hockey Stick Salamander. Number three, No of a Neptune. Number four, we have uh, Inferno Ifrit. And number five is Duo Eclipse. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more top five ranking videos in the future, leave a like and a comment or stuff. I'm going to respond to comments in this video. Why? Uh, I usually don't because I'm lazy, but this video I'll make an exception. Yeah, <laughs> because I just said I would and I'll probably forget because I'm stupid. Okay, so yeah, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Left first out.